Yo, what up? I'm Chani, and this is my top 10 K-pop songs going on to the last five. Let's do this. Cue the music. We got the power. Oh, oh! I got the fat power. Broke my chair. So coming at number five is Kara's Lupin. This MV is just too sexual. Seriously, I gotta keep my hand on the old F4 button just in case my parents come in and say, Hey! What are you watching? Kara without me! Hello, hello. And I'll be like, Dad, this is mine. Get out! Oh, dude, don't touch Nicole's luscious hair. And what is the MV about? Well, I'll explain it to you. <laughs> You're gonna make stupid stories again? Hello! Mother to be honest, I don't know what the hell's going on. I was just too busy looking at their bodies and their dancing and their pretty faces. Don't judge me, alright? You can't judge me. You did the exact same thing. Shit. But Hara's always saying, this is mine, and then the chorus is like, I'm gonna back it up, and then they're always sitting on the moon, so I assume that it has to got to do with them wanting to fight FX. <laughs> <laughs> Not this again, no, no. Number four goes out to the hip hop duo Supreme Team's Super Magic. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it's a really catchy rap song, and I don't know if it goes in the K pop category. Just thought I'd spread the Supreme Team love to all the people out there that don't know them. So check them out. Do it. I'm your sing or your. I'm joking, that's not how bad my Korean is. It's worse. I'm your sing. Okay, number three goes out to. Big Bang! Oh my god, just third Chani! Anyway, the song is called Last Farewell. So believe it or not, this was the first K-pop song I ever heard in my whole entire life. Back in the 2007 years or something like that. The first time I heard it, I thought, wow, what is this garbage? I don't understand this! This smells! I'm going to the toilet to clean up! Why would I go to the toilet to clean up? I would go to the shower. But yeah, my friend kept on egging me to listen to it more and more, and then it just grew in my head and exploded, and then all this K-pop was like, ah, and I was like, son of head. All right, guys, number two goes out to SNSD's Genie. This is the song that changes everything. Seriously, if you didn't like K-pop before, you listen to this song, bam, you love K-pop. If you're gay and you like guys, bam, you love Asian girls after this, seriously. And if you're a girl and you're like, hmm, do I like guys or do I... Bam, you love green girls. Shit, shut up, all right? There's only one word to describe this, okay? My feeling. Jessica! <laughs> Alright guys, it's time to tell you my number one, alright? It's not SNSD, it's not Big Bang, it's none of those. It isn't even a girl group, it's actually... Get ready for it... BEAST! What? BEAST? You're gay? No, I listen to SNSD, I like guys. I mean girls, what? Yeah, that's right, my all-time favorite is a BEAST song. Which song? It's FICTION! <laughs> Fiction is my all-time favorite song. It's the song I listen to the most. Seriously, there's so many good parts I love about it, like the singing, the, the members, the dance. And I'm gonna be serious this time. The lyrics for this song is just really good. I mean, I can't even explain it. Vampires. The singing is just crazy. There's a chorus and then Yosobo, Yosobi, Yosebi, he starts singing his like solo part. Na, 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 na. Then out of nowhere, the guy's like, na, 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 fiction. and then the other dude is starts rapping and he's like, starting here, starting here, starting here. And he's like, all right, I get it. You don't have to say it five times. And then shit, it's just crazy. And I'm like, oh. So yeah, that was just five of my top 10 K-pop songs. And I hope you guys enjoyed, yeah? I'll be back with some more stuff, all right? Take care, guys. Starting here, starting here, starting here, starting here, starting here. Alright, we get it.